Hello and welcome to today's tutorial on how to retrieve old DS-160 application. In this video, I will show you the step-by-step -step process on how to retrieve an old DS-160 application in case you accidentally closed your browser or your application was not submitted correctly. So let's get started. Step 1. The first thing you need to do is to visit the official website of the U.S. Department of State. To do this, go to https semicolon slash slash cse.state.gov slash genevi slash default. ASPX. This is the website where you will be able to retrieve your old DS-160 application. Step 2. Once you are on the website, you will need to enter the location where you submitted your application, followed by the CAPTCHA. This is to ensure that you are not a robot and that you are a real person. Step 3. After entering the location and CAPTCHA, you will be taken to a new page. On this page, you will need to enter your old DS-160 confirmation number. This is the number that you received when you initially completed your DS-160 application. Step 4. In the next stage, you will be required to enter your surname, year of birth, and answer the security question. This is to verify your identity and ensure that you are the rightful owner of the DS-160 application that you are trying to retrieve. Step 5. Once you have entered your personal information, you will be given two options. The first option is to skip the top, View Confirmation page, and select Create a New Application and Continue. Then you'll get a new DS-160 confirmation number on the top right hand, populated with the details from your old form. You will need to select this option and follow the on-screen instructions to create a new application with your old details. Step 6. Save and Update CGI Portal After creating a new application, it is important that you save the first page and also write down the new confirmation number. This is the number that you will use going forward until you submit. Lastly, remember to update your CGI portal with the new confirmation number generated. Congratulations! You have successfully retrieved your old DS-160 application. I hope this tutorial was helpful and informative. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more useful tutorials like this one.